Hello guys and welcome back to my channel Basics Plus Strong Roots. My name is Richa Yadav and today we will discuss the difference between depreciation and amortization. Let's discuss about the term depreciation first. What is depreciation? Depreciation is the reduced value of any fixed or tangible asset. So what is fixed asset? Fixed asset is something which we buy to use for a longer period of time that is 5 or 10 years and tangible asset is the asset to which we can touch, feel and move from one place to another that is called tangible asset. So for a company the tangible and fixed asset is office furniture, the machinery which the company has purchased and many other things which a company has purchased to buy for a longer period of time that is called the fixed asset for a company so as year by year as the years passes the fixed assets value get reduced over time so because we are using that particular machinery and furniture daily so when we use a thing daily then its value get reduced just like this pen its refill is one day it is going to end because i am using it daily so now this is an example that year by year the value of an asset gets reduced so that is called depreciation depreciation is the reduction value of that particular fixed asset so how do we calculate that depreciation and depreciation is mainly related with tangible assets and fixed assets then how do we calculate the depreciation and i have already mentioned three methods <coughs> of depreciation in my previous video but today I am going to show you the one method that that is simplest and very basic to understand that is straight line method so how do we calculate the depreciation by straight line method so let's take an example that a uh, company has bought a machinery by rupees 1 lakh let's see it here Cost of the machinery is 1 lakh rupees or INR, Indian rupee. The residual value, the residual value is nothing but the scrap value of that uh, particular asset is 8,000 rupees. And the life cycle of the machinery is 10 years. Here we are taking an example and we are thinking that a, ma a company has ma purchased a machinery with its original cost that is 1 lakh rupees and the residual value that is the scrap value of the machinery is 8000 rupees and the life cycle of the ma uh, machinery is 10 years. Uh, the life cycle is the company is going to use that particular machinery for 10 years. Now how will we calculate the depreciation? The method to calculate depreciation by a straight line method is straight line method is cost that is nothing but the original cost minus residual value I am taking it very short, divided by life cycle of the machinery. So, here the cost is 1 lakh rupees and the residual value is 8000 rupees. And the life cycle of the machinery is as estimated 10 years. So, here it will come 92,000 divided by 10. That comes to rupees 9200 per year. So, here we can say that the depre calculated depreciation as per the straight line method will be 9200 rupees. So, here this amount will be reduced from the cost of the machinery every year by the company until the cost of the machinery reached 
to 9200 rupees say i'm just showing it for two uh, three years for year 1 the cost of the machinery is 1 lakh and depreciation is 9200 so here we can say see that this is uh, just a sm uh, smaller part i am showing this is year 1 as the estimated life cycle of the machinery is 10 years so for 10 years we will deduct that depreciation amount of 9200 rupees from the original cost so this is time this is original cost this this is amount of depreciation and this is actual cost of the machinery which is left after reducing the amount of depreciation so at the end of first year the original cost what was 1 lakh rupees and the depreciation amount is 9200 uh, rupees and in straight line method the amount of depreciations depreciation sorry remains same for every year uh, the amount of depreciation is not going to be changed so for uh, year 1 original cost 1 lakh depreciation amount 9200 and actual cost at the end of the year will be 19800 that how it comes 1 lakh minus 9200 at the end of year 2 original cost again 1 lakh depreciation amount 9200 actual cost which is left with the company is 81600 and i see versa we will do it till year uh, year 10th year and again the original cost is 1 lakh this is 10th year and the amount of depreciation is 9200 and actual cost is 9200 so we will uh, keep reducing the amount of depreciation until the cost of the machinery reaches to 9200 rupees then it will be written off the part written off by the company so hope you understood the term depreciation that this is related with mainly tangible assets and fixed assets and as uh, as we use uh, those assets the value of those assets get reduced on uh, on daily basis and yearly basis so we need to depreciate uh, those uh, fixed assets to make a proper accounting of those assets now what is the term amortization we are discussing the difference between depreciation and amortization we are already done with depreciation now we will see what is amortization when you will google this word amortization what this what you people are going to get this is to make regular payments amortization is to make regular payments but one thing amortization is related with any kind of loan and intangible asset firstly if a company has taken a loan then uh, uh, then it decides an amount of amortization or you can say the installments amount in a very simple word the company decides the installments amount to repay that loan yearly so uh, so it will it may, uh, reduces the burden of the company for a loan uh, because we are making the regular payments of principal plus interest so uh, initially uh, first we will discuss the loan so principal plus interest the company is going to repay every year so let's take an exam example like if a company has taken a loan loan amount loan amount of 5 lakh rupees on an interest of 10% interest for 10 years say time 10 years so the uh, company will calculate the amount of amortization or the installment as per the straight line method so how the company will calculate the amount of loan so if we will follow the simple interest term then what is how do we calculate the interest principal 
is equal to time equal to rate divided by 100. So, this is what will come 5000. So, again, because rate is 10%, then 10. Um, 10 percent ko how do we write? We will write 10 by 100. So, 2 and 2. So, what will come? 5000 rupees. This is the amount of interest. So, the company have, I am just taking the uh, simple interest. It completely depends on company's policy, whether the comp company is calculating it on the basis of compound interest or simple interest. Mainly, they calculate according to compound interest. So, the interest amount is here is 5000 rupees and loan amount is 500,000 rupees. So the company has decided that every year from 5000 rupees they will pay around 2500 rupees plus 10,000 rupees of principal. So So the amortization amount will be 12,500 rupees which a company is going to repay to the creditor every year. So it is to make an installment just like an installment the company is deciding an installment to repay the loan every year. So this is the term amortization and how it applies to the term loan. Now come to the intangible assets so what are the intangible assets intangible assets are patents trademarks goodwill so the same case applies in intangible assets but amortization is related with intangible assets and not with tangible assets so intangible assets are those assets which are our assets and we mainly use them for our marketing purpose and for our brand branding purpose but we cannot see it we cannot feel it and we cannot keep it in our office so that those are called intangible assets so here you can see that the intangible assets are patent trademark and goodwill which we mainly use for the branding purposes goodwill is our goodwill which we have earned in the market and we value that goodwill trademark is the uh, our uh, the products trademark and patent is the patent we uh, you can say the concept we uh, do the patent of that the particular concept that nobody else can use that concept so here we will take an example of a patent that how will we calculate the amount of amortization of that particular patent as why we will calculate the amount of amortization for intangible assets because just like tangible assets if we are writing off the fixed assets and tangible assets then we need to write off the intangible assets also so there is life of these uh, intangible assets also and a company needs to write off these intangible assets also so let's take an example if we say that a company is buying a patent for 50,000 this is very small amount but I'm just taking 50k and the residual value of that patent is 5k and the life is 9 years we are going to use that patent for 9 years we have taken the permission and paid for 9 years to use that particular patent for 9 years only that the, as per the straight line method the amount of amortization will be 45,000 divided by 9 and it comes to 5,000 rupees so the amount of amortization comes to rupees 5,000 which the company is going to write off uh, the intangible asset every year. So, in intangible asset, for an intangible asset, 
we calculate the amount of amortization and that is nothing but the regular installment a company reduces its burden for a loan and uh, you know uh, in uh, paying easily uh, its loan and uh, writing off its assets intangible assets regularly so it somewhere it reduces the burden of the company also the intangible asset uh, assets reduce the taxable income for a company because we are making the regular payments for a company uh, for a loan and uh, for intangible assets uh, writing off then it re uh, reduces the taxable income so if the taxable income will be reduced the taxes will be automatically reduced so it is very helpful for a company and why do we use the term depreciation why a company use the term depreciation and amortization what is the reason they use these terms just because whenever a company purchases a machinery why a company purchases a machinery you know uh, to, uh, to make smoother the production and to earn more and to produce more to earn more so somewhere it is the purchasing of fixed assets and getting the uh, getting the permission or registration of these things adding to the companies some these things are adding something to the companies these are in very simple terms these things are helping companies to generate revenue they are increasing they are helping the companies to increase their revenues so if they are helping the companies to generate revenue because if a com company has purchased a machinery or office furniture of or any fixed asset which is helpful office furniture which is uh, you know to make your employees comfortable if the employee will be comfortable he will feel comfort at your office then he will be then he will be in a position to use his mind properly and a machinery adds a lot of advantage in companies earnings and a land you can say a land land is you know but the one thing land land never depreciates the value of a land always appreciates this is the only exception and uh, we will discuss in some other video the appreciation how to calculate the appreciation value of a land but except land all the fixed assets and tangible assets get uh, reduced by their value over time so uh, if a fixed asset or intangible asset is adding some value or helping the company in generating some kind of revenue so they are generating revenue if they are generating revenue what we can see in profit and loss account the one side there is revenue and one side there is expense the operating expense so if so we apply the matching principle if there is debit there should always a credit so that that's the reason we are applying these terms like depreciation and amortization for as we all know for every debit there should be a credit agar koi bhi expense hua hai to uska kuch revenue bhi hua hoga jisse hum usse match karte hain agar koi account debit hua hai to 101% koi na koi account to credit hua hi hoga to wo matching principle follow karne ke liye we use these terms depreciation and amortization because if the company uh, machineries and fixed assets are adding some kind of uh, value to the uh, company then there should be a, an expense so aisa nahi hai ki there should be an expense then the company is unnecessarily applying the depreciation and amortization thing to you know match that principle but it happens that's the reality that uh, the fixed assets value get reduced over time so to match this principle we use these terms depreciation and amortization so hope you guys understood the terms depreciation and amortization and if you think that i haven't explained anything clearly and my terms were not you know clear to all of you then please do write in the comment section and let me know that what should i add in my uh, you know syllabus and uh, what should i improve to make you guys understand and like share and subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon because whenever you will press the bell icon you will get the notifications of my new video stay safe stay home bye bye